Hi oh guys, the topic for today, progressive web apps. Now what is a progressive web app? Three criteria to meet the definition of progressive web app rather than just a web app. Reliable, fast and engaging. Now unlike a traditional native app that goes on your phone, mobile device, computer or embedded device, you don't have to store any data. Everything's hosted in the cloud, so that's the web application itself, as well as all of your user data and data transfer is handled all on the website end, server side. Saves device space, saves backups and less hassle in general. Speed's huge. Everyone wants quick data transfer, quick loading times. Web apps are quick because they have a lightweight back end. Being multi-threaded, it means queries don't have to be sequentially called. It means you can, one user can take an action on one site, on one particular page, and another on another page, all at the same time. You don't have to conform to Apple's stringent rules and, and procedures. It means that you don't have to upload to a particular app store, you don't have to include certain metadata, you don't have to stringently define what the web app does and you can change it, the purpose at any time and it means you can upload whatever content onto the storage because you're hosting it yourself. Now web apps don't have to be downloaded, they don't have to be installed, they can be navigated to at any time of the day, they can be accessed on any device, any type of media, any hardware and multiple users can take advantage of web apps on different devices all at the same time. Now a web app effectively is a website wrapped with functional code. It means a company can use a web app to their advantage with SEO. It means they can pack websites full of information leading people to their product to access their product and there's no downloads. It means that once people get to the site they can experience the web application straight away sometimes without even signing up if free trials etc are offered. So it's more direct message to put across from a business. We all use push notifications on a regular basis. Uh, they've got around a 95% open rate, which is much more than email's 5 or 6% open rate. Web apps can function almost the same as native applications. So you can run them on your local device. They don't have to be installed. Being opened in three seconds or less defines a progressive web application. It's one of the very core elements. Push notifications can still be used in web apps. And frameworks such as Ionic, that we'll talk about later, um, allow you to publish an application to the App Store, the Play Store, and as a progressive web app. So how are web apps made? There are multiple frameworks, pure code solutions, and software in environments in which you can make a web application. You can make them from scratch but many people use frameworks such as Laravel, CakePHP, Angular, JavaScript etc etc. Um, web apps can either be made on the web end or they can be made as native applications or cross-platform wraparound applications in programs such as Adobe PhoneGap or Cordova. Now, as I mentioned earlier, frameworks such as Ionic allow people to publish on the website, on a native solution such as Xcode, and you can also publish as a web app from Xcode. So how do mobile web apps work? Now, this is the closest you'll get to an application without actually publishing to an app store. You create, you create your web app in and programs such as Xcode and you publish it to a device with a low as a low code solution 
and it wraps around your device's existing hardware and kernel version, etc., to act as a midway buffer to access your device's features, camera, geolocation, etc., etc. What are the benefits of web apps to the consumer or the business in which is using them? Cost is a big thing. You don't have to have a dedicated, embedded or native solution created specifically for you. A lot of web apps are off-the-shelf solutions that can be customised or add on, have add-ons um, purchased at a later date. Um, a lot are subscription based so you don't have to come up with any upfront cash at all. And storage costs are obviously all handled off-site. So it means redundancy, latency and backups and version management don't have to be managed by the end consumer, they're often managed by the provider of the web app. As a developer, they're much easier to manage than an old school native application that you have to create versions for specific clients. They can be adapted to particular customers very easily. They can target multiple devices with one solution and with platforms such as Adobe PhoneGap and Cordova there are lots of plugins and add-ons to the framework that make integrating with devices much much easier. So as a summary web apps are fast, they are versatile, they have a low overhead for the consumer and they're much easier to work with than some old traditional embedded solutions. Progressive web apps are on the rise and 2019 will see a massive influence of instant apps, progressive web apps and m-commerce applications that all function using web code, asynchronous queries and non-specific device targeting. That's all for today folks and if you've got any questions drop them in the comments box.